Workers were engaged in the restoration of the tomb of St. Jude Wiga in Poland when they stumbled upon an unusual slab. Curious about its appearance, they decided to lift the section, revealing a hidden cavity filled with charcoal and plaster. As they began to excavate further, the conservators unraveled a centuries-old mystery. Hi and welcome back to our channel. Watch the video till the end we hope you will enjoy it. And never forget to like, comment and share the video and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Let's start. During March 2020, conservation work was already underway at the Basilica of St. Jude Wiga in Trebnica, southwest Poland. The renovations were ordered by the leading clergy due to concerns about a crack on a stone sarcophagus that could potentially worsen. Over the years of conservation efforts, numerous unexpected discoveries had already been made, including a time capsule found during the renovation of the bell tower on the basilica's roof, containing historical documents and old coins. Additionally, burial chambers with 17th century Cistercian sisters and clergy were discovered under the basilica floor. Trebica holds significant historical and religious importance in Poland. Located in the historic region of Lower Silesia, the town has witnessed different kingdoms ruling over the ages. Known as the burial site of many Polish royals and their spouses, it is also home to the sanctuary of St. Jude Wiga, also known as Trebnica Abbey, founded by Duchess Hedwig of Andex and her husband, Henry I of Bearded, a member of Poland's Silesian Pius dynasty. Duchess Hedwig, later known as St. Jude Wiga, made a vow to build the sanctuary after surviving a life-threatening incident in a swamp. The convent at Trepnica Abbey was established in 1203, with the first nuns chosen by Hedwig's brother, the Bishop of Bamberg. The convent remained active for over three centuries under the rule of the Pius dynasty, and Duchess Hedwig, after becoming a widow, moved into the abbey as a lay sister. Hedwig and Henry's family had strong religious ties, with some members becoming bishops and abbesses. Hedwig, in particular, was known for her devout faith and her commitment to helping the less fortunate, founding hospitals for lepers and the sick, and dedicating her wealth to the church. After Henry's death in 1238, Hedwig devoted the rest of her life to her religion, living in the monastery and spreading religious teachings in the Silesia region. The discovery of the hidden cavity and its contents at St. Jude Wiga's tomb adds to the already rich historical and religious significance of Trebnica. The ongoing restoration work has unearthed valuable insights into Poland's past and its ties to its devout rulers and religious heritage. The findings serve as a testament to the town's enduring historical and spiritual importance. In fact, she extended an invitation to clergymen from Germany to settle in the area. The influx of migrants led to the emergence of new towns, cities, and villages. Despite dedicating most of her life to religion, Hedwig experienced heartbreak. She and Henry had several daughters, but only one surviving son, Henry Aya, who tragically died during the Mongol invasion of Poland in 1241. Interestingly, it is said that Hedwig foresaw her son's death in a vision before the event. Following his passing, Hedwig, and her daughter-in-law, Anna of Bohemia, established a Benedictine abbey in Legniki Pol, the site of the battle that claimed Henry I's life. After his death, any hopes of a united Poland were abandoned, and the region fragmented further under different ruling houses. Hedwig eventually passed away in 1243, and the convent at Trednica became a place of pilgrimage. Her resting place became famous for reported miracles paving the way for her path to sainthood. Pope Clement V.I. canonized her in 1267, making Hedwig one of Poland's patron saints, also known as Saint Jadwiga of Silesia. Although some still refer to her as Saint Hedwig, she is particularly revered in her former home of Trebnica. According to the general Roman calendar, her feast day is celebrated annually on October 16th. Relics of Hedwig were taken into St. Hedwig's Cathedral in Berlin and Andex Abbey in Bavaria. Initially, her body was laid to rest with her husband's in Trebnica Abbey. However, the exact location of her remains within the abbey was lost over the centuries until the renovation work in March 2020. 
During the restoration of St. Jadwiga's tomb, workers discovered a peculiar feature. As they lifted the slab covering the tomb, they noticed charcoal mixed with plaster poured into a cavity. Curiosity led them to investigate further, and as they chipped away at the black plaster mix, they unearthed a metal object. The conservators found a small casket with a golden coat of arms of a priest named Christina Catters in a paboska from Wiersno, who lived in Trebnica in the 17th century. However, the inscription on a lead plaque found with the casket revealed the true treasure within. The remains of St. Hedwig of Silesia. This discovery, dating back some 340 years, solved centuries of mystery regarding her final resting place. Historical records did not pinpoint the exact location of her new burial spot, but experts believed it was somewhere inside the basilica. The timing of the discovery was deemed significant, as the bones had not been examined since 1764. The mayor of Trebnica, Bukazima, marked this occasion as a great personal experience and a historical event. He expressed his happiness in participating in this important discovery, considering St. Jadwiga a special patron for their modern times. After the discovery, the relics were sent for analysis along with the casket. The future plans for the relics are yet to be determined, but regardless of their location, St. Hedwig's legacy will forever be intertwined with Trebnica. Thanks for watching. Never forget to like, comment, and share the video, and remember to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.